Uh, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to take out the center of this poly group. If we have the Q uh, mesh on here, one of the po uh, flat poly groups here, and I try moving, removing the center, I get this. Okay, this is not what I want. I'll remove the whole center. So if I right click this, I am messing with it earlier, and I use extrude. Um, I want to have on flat, flat uh, and poly groups and by stepping because the stepping is going to snap back to where I want it to um, snap back to. Because if I don't, well, let me just show you if I don't have stepping on, this will happen. If I don't have stepping back on, it'll do this, okay? Control Z that, and we're going to turn stepping on. Another thing is we're going to need to change our draw size because if I don't, I'm going to leave it, well, I, right now it's at 50, so let's just put it to the default, I think, with 64. And if I don't change that, it's going to snap back a little too much. All right. I want it to snap back at the equal distance of my um, cube here to the next cube. And on this one, it is 50. All right. You can usually tell is if you move your cursor, and you see the center uh, cursor. Uh, I got two red cursors, the one in the center. It's uh, right on the border. Of the square, all right. It's not over exceeding and it's not really under It's real tight to the borders. That's telling me the center one is going to be snapping back at equal distance as the cube. All right, so if I bring it back, it's going to snap. But if I keep on dragging, this is what's going to happen. So I don't want to keep on dragging. What I want to do is, right, remember we're on uh, extrude, flat, and groups, and by stepping. So to do that, We'll just select here and just drag it back one time, okay, and let it go. Now we can replay last by just clicking, click, 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 and it removes the center.